Hey everybody, it's Kelly here for Game Changers. It is Friday, it is May the 10th, and we had an interesting night last night. Now, we went two and two in our picks, but we lost money. And we went heavy on the basketball games, and we lost both of them, and it sucked. It sucked big in that Toronto Philly game. Uh, they started off that first, uh, the first half of the first quarter you know, it looked like a great game, and then all of a sudden they give up a 10-2 run. They come back a little, they give up a 12-0 run, and it was just, you know, it makes me wonder. You go to a Game 7 back in Toronto. There's $60 million in gate revenue alone, never mind all the other business. You look at the way they played. They started shooting threes. They were 2 for 15, 3 for 16. Really? Those streaks? I don't know, my spidey sense. I don't want to call anybody out or anything, but it sure as hell makes you wonder. That sucked. We should have been on the other side. I apologize, guys. But we did get it done with those Boston Bruins, and they played great. Now, Carolina, that was a great start. I was a little worried after the first two periods. Carolina looking very strong, but the Bruins showed their power. They came through, scored two very, very nice goals to go up to 3-2. to two. They get the empty netter and then a really nice goal to make it 5-2 at the end. So we were bang on with the three units on the minus 140. We won two units. We put a unit on the minus 1.5, which was 2-1. to one. And, uh, and also, we didn't put it out as a play, but I said there was going to be a lot of goals, and it ended up being seven. So that was good. Baseball was good for us as well last night. In the 10th inning, Arizona did it for us. They won 3-2. to two. Um, But going back to basketball, that Denver-Portland game. Denver, great first quarter. Then they got outscored by 11. They got outscored by 6 in the third quarter. Uh, that sucked. And we had, we had a little too much waiting to those games. So tonight, we've averaged out our plays a little bit. I apologize because we were down. Uh, just under five units yesterday, not acceptable, especially when we go two and two. So that was just bad, bad uh, situational betting in games. We put a little more weight on that Denver game. I thought they were going to do it last night. Quite a, quite, a, quite a surprising finish. Anyways, let's get into tonight's games, guys, because we're going to come back strong. We're not going to take two hits. We're gonna, we got hit yesterday, but we're going to come back, and we're going to swing back, and we're going to hit it hard. So here's what we got tonight. I like Golden State tonight. Now, I get it. Durant is out. But this team is a hell of a lot stronger than Kevin Durant. You've got Curry. You've got all the support around there. You're going back to the run that they've had before. And they are seven and a half point underdogs. Golden State in the playoffs, in an elimination game, are seven and a half point underdogs. You've got to be crazy not to take that one. We're going three units on Golden State plus seven and a half. Baseball, three games as we have no hockey tonight. We're gearing up for tomorrow's uh, St. Louis-San Jose game, which I'm going to have a great, uh, uh, a great analysis on for you tomorrow. Uh, but let's get into baseball. We've got a great pitching matchup. Uh, the Yankees are in Tampa Bay. I like the underdog Yankees, plus 130 tonight. We're going to go with three units on them. Second game, Houston. Uh, Houston's playing Texas. They got Verlander going tonight. That guy is awesome. Uh, they're a heavy favorite, so we're going to play at minus one and a half runs, minus 122. That line courtesy of Pinnacle. Now, guys, if you're on your sports site or you're talking to your bookie and you're not getting that kind of line, go to gamechangers.ca. Click the banner above my head in the video to the Pinnacle Sports. Open up an account. That link gets you better lines and gets you the special Game Changers uh, uh, profile because we're a partner, we're an agent for them. So guys, we want you to get the best lines because on a day like yesterday where we, uh, we lost some money, you'll want to pay less juice. That just, just makes common sense. So anyways, back. Houston, uh, Houston with Verlander, three units on the minus one and a half. And the LA Dodgers, they are back. These are my, this is my team this year. These guys, I'm gonna start keeping track, see how much money the Dodgers makes me. Maybe we'll put up a trip to Dodger Stadium for a lucky Game Changers fan at the end of the season. We'll go see a playoff game. You get to hang out with Kelstermania himself. That sounds like fun, guys. So let's take them tonight, minus one and a half runs. Uh, we've got a great, great, uh, great, great pitching matchup tonight uh, in that the fact that uh, you've got Sanchez going for the Washington Nationals. This guy is 0-5. This guy, uh, geez, I could, I could get a single off of this guy. So anyways, Dodgers, minus one and a half plus 115. We're going to take that for three units. So we've got some nice, nice bounce back plays. We've got a total of three, six, nine, 12 units in action. I see us going at least three to one. We're gonna make up for yesterday. I apologize for yesterday. That sucked. Losing sucks. You show me a good loser, I'll show you a loser. We're not gonna take it. Lying down, we're coming back strong. We're gonna bust that bookie. We'll see you tomorrow, guys.